Hi, good morning. In this video, I will try to introduce us to Dust Stream Studio. Then, I will work with Dust Stream Studio. Dust Stream Studio is an editor, it is a software that helps you to develop your your static web page by dragging the code. The, the reason why I say we should make use of those streams to do is because number one to make our work faster and number two to make um, a learner to understand it very very fast. Yeah, and I, I said in this previous video, uh, sorry, in the previous tutorial, I said we make use of Visual Studio Code and Visual and Dustream Studio. The reason why I say we should make use of Dustream Studio, I think I've, st I've said it now. So now let's start using the app and let's see how it looks and let's see how it works. Now when I click on Dustream Studio, when I click on it, this is the first page for it to load for me which show me welcome to Dustream Studio therefore I now I'll come here to click on continue to navigate to, to, to the main page now this is the main page that will show for us when we open the app or when we click on continue as you can see there we have a nav bar we have a left bar and we also have a right bar we have a main bar as well let's see the top bar the top bar we have a new we have open we have save we have undo we have redo we have music then the change we change to have the timer we have a publish that is when you are done with your poor work now let's see new now when we this new button is used we want to create a new project on this software because before we can do any project, before we can, before we can work on uh, Dustroom Studio, we have to, to to create a project. Now let's create a new now. Let me create a new. So it, it shows this page that we, we want to create our new new project. Now we also, now we, so we we'll use any project name that I want to work work with. Now let me use. Now let me use my project. Let me just use my project. You can use any name. And now in this uh, this tutorial, we're only working with HTML documents. We've not started the dust stream document. Now we'll click on HTML documents. They will now come here. Then click on next for you to create our 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 folder and files for us. As you can see, now we have a default folder and files. And see that here is now you have a CSS, you have a image, you have J JavaScript, is JX, you have a index of HTML, and also have a privacy dot HTML. These are the default files that will create for us when we create the project. Now, let's see open now. Open is useful. So, now let's see open now. Open is useful when we to open our project. The project we've already created there as well make use of the open open button now let's click on open button now as you can see there these are the these are the projects that I've, I've worked with you can see it here so i can just like, choose any and click it then once i choose it to open the files and folder for me to work on to work with as well so now now i've got a save button i have a save button we have undo we have redo this save button so we can make use of it and we cannot even make use of it because this system this software is, is an auto save mode so whether we use it or not anytime we are working on the on the project or on the editor it will be saving automatically now this redo and undo is it for us to redo our, our, our work and to undo our work that is the main function of the redo and undo now also have a, a music here yeah, music here yeah, is just is not something compulsory but just for us to enjoy I enjoy the coding because me me personally I love I love listening to music so when you're working on this software you can play music so to make it a fun so there, there, there are a lot of music here you can add you can delete as well so you can add the music you can delete delete as well you can click on add so the music here but click on here to delete the music so now so now so now so now we have a drop down here which is used to change the themes of the software that is going to change this, uh, the themes and the, the color if you don't want it yes we, we change it now now we have a timer here this is the timer for you to time you to know how long you spent on the, the software then i have a publisher this is uh, this is where you click where you are 
to meet your project, that means to publish your your project, but it will be saved in a ZZ file. So once you click on it, it will open a, a box for you. So here you, you you save your file. So just click on any 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 folder you want your, your file to be saved. So you click on it and it's select the file. If I want it to be saved on my desktop, I just click on select. Then to start publishing. So you can see it should publish saved. So just for you to check it now, so you can see it here. You see zip file here. So now let's continue. So, so now let's continue so now we have a left bar here so, so we have the left bar here so we have a, so we have a left bar here the left bar contain we, uh, our, our our plugins which is we have a html tag we have the html tag that is the dust stream tag we have the dust stream parameter so we have the event, we have the plugin, we have the attribute of our DS HTML. So this this HTML tag is is used is, is used to is used for us to to be to be dragging and drop the code instead of we be, be typing it. So it be used to drag and drop the code. Oh, they want to drag it. It should, be, it should be drag with the end and the open tag. That's the main function. As you can see, it is all the plugins needed for web de development. Now let's see we have the have a bootstrap. This bootstrap is a plugin that which that we are, that which help us when we are designing the the look of of the of the website, which is the CSS. It's just the input of the CSS, like the plugin for the CSS. Now let's see the plugin tag here. This plugin tag here it is is a plugin that which make our work easier and faster so it just help us like to be dragged the the code let's see it, let's see it. for example now i have a, i want to design a website which i'll make use of my navbar then instead of me writing the code from my one i will just come down here then drag it here so as you can see there once i drag it here it displays automatically that's the essence of the the browser here so as to show the preview of the the code that's what I see it here so now, now let's move on to, to the main bar so you can see it here the main bar we have the editor and we also have the browser here at the main bar here so now let's see now let's see now how to work with the the editor we can we can we can change the color and then if you don't want it by changing the um, change the whole font as well by pressing your control f or press your control f want to change the font of the 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 editor so you can use any color you can change it to any color depending on the color you want you can change it to any font size as you can see there and you see the the font change and everything change so now we can open external file by pressing your control p you want to press your control p to open an external file for you for you to edit to make change with the the file as well so now you can also make a screenshot here here by pressing your control hold when you press the control hold, this screen as you can see the a, a box which shows screenshot saved so we we'll go to the to the pictures on, on your folders to the pictures picture you see is the dust stream studio then you see the screenshot there so it is there so now like, let's move on to the right side of the oh, oh sorry before we move on to the right side here we have a, we have a search by text then we have to search our our tag this tag want to want to so the one we are looking for so so is here we make the so is here we make the the side the search here so you can search any 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 code any tag from from the search by by text box here so now because now we have a code, we have a, a code icon this code icon is just used to switch to switch the browser and the editor that's just main function of it now we have a mobile icon this mobile icon shows helps us to 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 display uh, to show, show how it is displayed on the mobile phone as you can see it here show how it's displayed on the mobile phone then we have a tablet as well which shows how to display on a tablet screen we also have a laptop uh, a laptop uh, icon that which you display on, on how to display on, on, on a laptop uh, on this on a uh, on a large screen but not larger screen not extra large screen on a large screen 
so that's all shows now let's move on to the right side of the the software you what we call a tag tag description what does the what does the main function of the tag description and why we make use of it the reason why we make use of the tag description is just for you to understand the tag you are using or only any anytime you are using the tag and you go hang and, and you don't understand it again just for you to go to the tag description so the, the tag description will show you the full description and the example which will mix you to understand the, the tag so you can see it here i move my console on on html when i move my console on HTML, you can see it here this is the, the full description and this is an example and when i move my console on base as well it shows me show me the description and example so each each tag has their own description and the example on how to work with them so now let's move on 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 the uh, on the right side here at the, at the bottom here the way our folder we, we have our projects folder and files are so here now this is the section where it shows our, our project files and folder so which will be to working with and now we have a refresh we have a refresh a refresh icon that we should use to refresh our project they have a delete icon as well so that's if you want to delete the project as well they have a delete icon they will have a paste icon this paste paste icon is used for you to copy and paste any code outside the, the software let's assume you have a code here that's why we have a file here i want to copy we just come here and copy so i will move down here i'll move down to the file section here i'll move down to the file section here so I can, if I want to paste it to any of the any in any of this folder, for example, I want to paste it here in the CSS folder. I'll, I'll, I'll click on the folder, then come to paste, then paste it now. So if I open it, you see the the files here. So you can see there. This is the file. So if I don't want to paste it here, that if, if I don't want to paste it to the folder, that I don't just want to paste it to the root of the file. Just click on any file and click on paste, so that you paste it for me as well. So it's already showing me that it's already exists in the project. So, so now let's move on to create a new file. Now you can see there we have a create new new file. So we have a create new file. They want to click on create new file to create a new file file for us. For example, now that I want to create a new file, maybe inside the CSS or inside the, the JavaScript or uh, at the root of the, the project. Now I'll just uh, click on any file. Once I click, once I click on any file, just click on create new. So I create new. It will create an untitled file file with with just HTML extension. So we we'll double click it. Double click it to give it a name that I want you want to use it you can use it depending on the name of the the file you want to depend on the name you want to name the file so let me just name it style html so just for the first sake just let's yes now so I'll just press enter it was a press enter then the file will be created you as you can see it here now so so for for creating um for creating a project as, as well so just click on the creative creative create folder as i said earlier that if you want to create it inside the folder you, you click on the folder icon first before you create and create either files or folder or even paste or file save so once I, I click on create folder now so to create untitled folder for me i'll just like double click it and and i'll rename it press enter to to save it so, so so now we're going on how to delete your file how you can how you can delete your file and rename your file as well which is the already created file so you can delete you can rename as well so now let's de let's de delete this style html just to javascript and now all those just, just double click just just double click just click on double click on it and press your de delete button so when you press the button to show you are you sure to delete the file name then once you click on yes everything will be deleted it's the same thing as well for for folder as well when you when you click on it just press your delete button when you, when you press the delete button then it will be deleted so so now now at the main section here we have a, a tab bar for this browser tab bar you can see that you can select you can check you can select as well so f so from here now we can it's only it only takes maximum of 10 10 10 tab bar so you can like 
if you want to delete it, you just click on the tab bar and press your delete button. Then once you make, once you make use of it, so everything will be deleted. So thank you for watching. So I think this video is helpful. Thank you very much. And don't forget to ask a question.